Everyone knows that turkeys are an endangered species due to American gluttony. But it's Thanksgiving fam squad and we gotta do what our traditions tell us to do. Take an adorable knitted turkey hat and fill that bad boy to the brim with stuffing to get the most flavor out of your turkey. Why would you fill a, what kind of traditions does this guy have that he's filling a hat with stuffing? I'm fairly certain if you look at the FBI most wanted list, it's probably all his family. Is he suffocating that turkey? Oh geez, I don't know if this is PG. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. This makes me uncomfortable. I mean, if I'm being honest, like 100% honest, I just want to eat stuffing now. Thanksgiving wouldn't be Thanksgiving without a pie. But rather than making a boring old pumpkin pie, you can make something much more colorful. Take three different colors of kinetic sand and mix them into your pie crust. No cooking required here. Your pie will instantly be ready. Just look at that satisfying slicing action. Wow. Dude, you would have to literally drag me out of there to not get me to eat that. It looks so delicious. Dude, I want some of that. As days get colder, you may find yourself feeling like a heavy jacket just doesn't cut it anymore. But now you can increase your insulation by 1000% by adding some hot pockets into your jacket pockets. Be sure to leave on the protective foil for protection. And there you have it. Hot pockets equal hot jackets. Have you seen the meme where he's like, I dropped my hot pocket. No, but they're gonna play it. Yeah, right now. I'm ducking and everything. Dying. In the house, I'm, I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. Don't you hate it when the, don't you hate it when the, don't you hate it when DiGiorno, don't you hate it when DiGiorno, DiGiorno, don't you hate it when DiGiorno delivers your pizza with the wrong toppings? You wanted a cheese pizza, not that disgusting pepperoni garbage. This is 100% DiGiorno's fault. But rather than having the satisfaction of ordering again, take a large spatula and scrape off DiGiorno's mistake. Then take about 20 individual pack slices of Kraft American cheese singles and lay them onto your heart's content. Once you're done, fold the pizza in half and go to town. This is how you pizza. Connor has some nice biceps. I wish I had biceps like that. Sweet potatoes are the candy of vegetables, but did you know you can make sweet potatoes out of regular potatoes? Take an entire bag of granulated sugar and dump the whole thing into those boring spuds. You will never be able to tell the difference. Oh, he actually cooked them, look. Oh, look. those are potatoes. Yeah, they're potatoes. Look how hot, he cooked them, what? Dedication, fam squad. That's dedication. That potato actually looks really good, I love potatoes. If only we could one day live up to the level of content he and my brother makes. So. Oh, and it'll be it. sweet. It's a joke, sweet potato. I wonder So when does it turn is. orange? That's uh, you have to add the food coloring for that. Gotcha. That's a lot of sugar. That's almost as much sugar as McDonald's puts in their teeth. Well, that's insulting to this life hack. If you ever see a guy with arm hair like this, you need to be careful. He's just Darth Maul without the makeup. Who wants to go all the way to the bathroom to brush their teeth after Thanksgiving dinner? Nobody. That's who. Take a regular toothbrush and duct tape it to your fork and you're good to go, M9. Now you can never leave your seat, but feel minty fresh. Have you ever noticed that slippers constantly fail to live up to their reputation? You can fix this key design flaw in a matter of seconds by taking a full stick of unsalted Irish butter and rubbing it along the sole of that unslippery slipper. You'll be falling flat on your butt in no time. He's probably really upset, you know? He paid a lot of money for those slippers. And, and they're they, not slipper. They don't slip around. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if it actually works. <laughs> Couldn't commit to the bit, couldn't actually fall. Passing plates across the table is hard. Take some Hot Wheels and duct tape them to the bottom of your plates. Now instead of passing plates, you roll them. Honestly, this is actually pretty cool. I I was about to say, like that would be a good way to get your kids to like, but I feel like hot glue would have been awesome. so much better. Yeah, honestly, this guy kind of has like a fetish with hot glue. I'm surprised he like, you yeah, know, right? calmed that down, yeah. Maybe he ran out of hot glue. Come on, not everyone's rich like you, Chris. Maybe he didn't run out of hot glue. Maybe his city ran out of hot glue. <laughs> Maybe the earth just has a hot glue shortage right now. So now he's stuck doing duct tape life hacks. Oh, wow, he's preparing a full... What, what is that? Is that slime? What? Gross. That looks disgusting. Kowalski, I need an analysis. Chris, the viewers are Kowalski. Kowalski. Don't you hate it when you run out of mashed potatoes? It's literally the worst. You oh. see, potato chips are just potatoes. So then you just turn them back into potatoes. That's how things work. 
To make more mashed potatoes in a pinch, fill a bowl with potato chips and mash them to your desired mushiness. <laughs> you called it. That reminds me, when I was a kid, me and my friends blended spaghetti together and drank it. Just to see what it would taste like. Mm -hmm. It didn't taste good. Okay. I wonder what happened instead of mashing those if you blended them. Dude. Mashed potatoes are literally nothing without gravy. Except mashed potatoes. You might be onto something. So here's what you do if you find yourself without gravy and have to get creative. Just add some lime green slime into your potatoes and whip them together. Dude, gross. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. So he's slime potatoes. Can you confirm? Is that Hulk snot? Yeah, that's a big old Hulk booger right there. Gotcha. If all the slime does is thicken up, you're not stirring them enough. Get a lot of wrist action in there. Oh, this is actually pretty cute. I like this. Oh wait, he reused that cone from the last life hack. Hold on, hold up, hold up. Kowatsky, I know we've had your analysis a lot today, but we need one more analytical review. Analysis it. What is that, Kowatsky? He can confirm, it's been used before. Okay. Thank you, Kowatsky. Very cool, Kowatsky. We love to rip on Americans here on this show, but that doesn't mean we don't recycle. Take your traffic cone witch hat from Halloween, wrap a belt around the cone, and then boom, you've got a pilgrim hat. What is he, walking his cone? No, no, no. You ain't never seen a pilgrim hat? They always have- Oh! Oh my goodness, this is genius. It's scientifically proven that Thanksgiving dinner will make you sleepy. Like, no joke. Anytime you eat turkey, you instantly get tired. The chemicals, man. And the frogs. It's a chemical called MSG. That comes from frogs. Sure, why not? <laughs> Don't feel bad, it's science. So rather than having to fight your overweight Uncle Steve for the comfy chair, cheat this system by duct taping a fluffy pillow to the bottom of your plate. As soon as you're done stuffing your gullet, flip that plate over for an instant nap. Oh wow, that guy's really strong. He opened a whole can of salsa without even having to use like a rag. Or he must get into a salty spittoon without even getting checked. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, man. Oh. No! He's just too strong. Instead of wasting precious potato chips, just put the chip in your mouth, stick a drinking straw in your salsa, and slurp it up like you're on 40 HP and picked up a slurp. Ooh, that was really relatable for them. I know. There you go, nine-year-olds. They're going to like that a lot. Uh -huh. American Gluttony Day doesn't have to mean that sharing isn't caring. To make sure everyone gets one of those delicious wine rolls, just smash them together into one big super roll. Take a giant bite and pass it around the table. You know you can just buy a giant Hawaiian roll that's like the size of your head, right? Have you ever had Hawaiian rolls? Of course. I've been to Hawaii. They're so good. I ate a roll when I was in Hawaii. I went to Hawaii to prove the earth was flat. Why did you go to Hawaii? To tie you, my shoe. Yeah, to tie your shoe. Ah, oh, what interesting things we have done. What the frick is that stupid drink? That's root beer. What do you mean? That's like the best root beer I ever guarantee made. you, no way. That is horrible branding. That's literally- That's the, ugly. That's one of the first root beers ever made. That is ugly. He's in a weird dilemma because he has a soda bottle, but he needs to transport the soda bottle and soda bottles aren't good for transporting. Yeah, exactly. So he has to pour it into a bag. And then when he goes to drink it, he has to pour it back in the bottle. Also, you don't want to look flexed by carrying around a soda bottle. Soda bottles are a lot of plastic. He probably cares about the environment. By pouring it in more plastic. Yes, there you go. Because by alleviating one plastic into another plastic, you save the first plastic. Ha 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 ha! His wallet's still there. Oh, his, wow, that's like a little fun, like little Easter egg. He didn't really kick his addiction. He's oh, is it back? Hey, dude, he's having a relapse. It's like Eminem. I thought we were gonna go one video without hot glue, but no. These guys do a lot of hacks with hot glue on this channel, so this hack is really more for them. But darn, if they don't need content. Rather than having to deal with your hot glue stick being short all the time, take two sticks and hot glue them together. With this life hack, you're able to hot glue twice as much without having to reload. It's almost like sleight of hand, but better. Ooh, that's a lot of bread. Ooh. Dude, like, he must be rich. What is he, Bill Gates? Right? I bet it's not even the 88 cents bread like I have to buy. Man, this guy's been disregarding females and acquiring that currency. Let's get that bread, boys. Let's go. Let's get that bread, man. I want to be like this life hack guy one day. I want to get some bread. He went out and he got that bread. He did. Peanut butter and jelly. Ha ha. Well, that's a great one to end on. All right. If you're still watching this far, we've got a little, we've got a little game for you. All right. So I want you to take your hand, preferably your left hand, and do either a rock, a paper, or scissors with that hand. All right. Have it. I choose rock. 
which means if you chose scissors, you lost. If you chose paper, you won. All right, we're gonna do that. We're, all right, starting now, we're gonna do best two out of three, okay? So, get your, get your thing in your hand. I choose paper. I know you lost, don't lie. I'm up, I'm up one up, all right? Get your hand ready, next one. I choose scissors. Oh, really? You chose rock? Wow, okay, it's tied. Hmm. All right, you ready? All right, for this next one, I choose rock. I know you chose scissors. Game end. Subscribe right now. Like the video. Leave a comment of your favorite uh, life hack. Goodbye.